What a glorious morning. Oh, clear blue skies, not a single cloud. There's a bit of a chill in the air. Perfect hiking conditions. Well, g'day guys. Um, I'm off for another adventure. Um, I'm in the Blue Mountains again. Uh, I'm uh, gonna be covering quite a lot of kilometers today, about 13 kilometers. Um, I'm gonna walk along the high ground over a plateau and then down to a river and then meet um, a junction in between two rivers. Um, it's actually bordering uh, the Blue Mountains and Canangra Boyd National Park. Um, so I'll, uh, I haven't been there before. Um, it'll be a first. So hopefully I can find a nice little camp spot. I've packed a fishing rod also. Intend on doing a little bit of fishing. Um, depending what I catch, how big, I might have it for dinner or breakfast. Um, but I did pack a ribeye, going back to the old trusty ribeye steak. Um, so I do have a backup if I don't catch anything. Oh, well, I'll definitely eat the ribeye. Um, looking forward to that. So I'm getting quite puffed out now, walking up a, up a hill. So I'll just leave the intro as that and maybe uh, catch up with you a little bit later on. Hope you enjoy the trip. Catch you later. This will be um, good tinder. I'll save this. See, see that mountain up there? I've got a funny story about that mountain. Um, back about, oh, I don't know, five or six years ago, uh, me and a mate of mine, um, let's just call him uh, Ricky, Ricky Ricardo uh, for the time being. Um, so we planned on a hike um, coming up this mountain along the side and then see that saddle there, we we're gonna climb up that saddle, come over and then head back down and, and along. Um, so we were scaling up, uh, trying to reach that saddle, as I said, and um, I had Ricky, hang on, let me turn this camera around. All right, so I had um, Ricky uh, behind me, um, trying to scale up that mountain to, to reach that point. And I told Ricky, I said, look, we're going off the track notes here. It was a first for both uh, him and I to, to come up this mountain. So we're just going off the track notes. And I said, look, just make sure you stick behind me. And, um, you know, we should be right if we follow stick by the track notes. But um, sure enough, uh, good old Ricky Ricardo um, thought he knew a, a, better, a better way up. And um, he kind of veered off and I was in a bit of a situation where I couldn't stop. So I just kept on um, plowing through, soldiering on, and I eventually uh, reached the reached the, the, the top. And um, I looked behind me and Ricky's uh, nowhere to be found. So I started screaming out, you know, Ricky, where are you? And he goes, oh mate, like I can't find the way that, um, uh, the route that you went up. And uh, anyway, back and forth, just, you know, waiting for him to find the route up. And um, he couldn't find it, you know, we wasted a couple of hours, it started getting dark and um, I thought I'd uh, start making my way down to where Ricky was and yeah, I had a bit of a slip, hit my head, um, uh, like had a bit of a cut, nothing, nothing too bad, but um, I decided, yeah, it's probably not the, the best sort of time of the day to be heading down, um, trying to do a, a free climb down in the dark. So I decided to uh, stay camp on top of the mountain um, in between a rock and a bloody hard place. Yeah, it was such a night. Um, yeah, it was quite funny actually, <laughs> trying to uh, retrace my tra um, steps back and um, eventually I found Ricky at uh, one of the campsites there and 
we had a we had a good old laugh and yeah, poor guy was um he was a little bit worried that you know he might not see me again and uh vice versa as well um but yeah it was uh quite quite funny we had a good little laugh uh in the morning and um yeah headed back to the car and and uh yeah that's uh <laughs> one of those stories that we keep uh keep bringing up from time to time good old ricky if you're watching mate g'day Well, we made it, made it to the river. It was more like 14 and a half kilometers, not 13. I tell you what, I'm not looking forward to the, um, to the return trip home. It's all, it's gonna be all uphill for about four or five kilometers. Um, but that's all right. It's, it's on like a fire trail. Um, so it'll be slow going, but not too difficult. Anyway, I'm gonna follow the, um, the river downstream, see if I can get to that junction that I was uh, talking about, but um, there's a lot of debris, so I'm not sure how doable it's gonna be. Um, it's about one o'clock now, so I don't wanna to waste too much time. If I, can, if I can find a nice little uh, spot for a camp, I might just um, set up camp, otherwise I'll try and get to that junction and um, see how that looks. All right. I think I might, um, I've got a couple of options here. I might set up a ridge line and set up the tarp and hammock in between these two trees or even, I can even sleep on the ground here, maybe just set up um, my tarp as a plow, a plow shelter. I'll have to remove this rock though and maybe just sleep around on the ground tonight. Um, either way, I think I need to um, get rid of these logs, uh, these logs here and that one here. Um, I might do that while I'm thinking about it actually. And um, at least that way I've, you know, I can use that for firewood, it won't go to waste. Um, they're already dead um, so I might do that actually what I might do is um, I might have some lunch last time I forgot to have lunch it's just uh, I didn't stop all the way down I just uh, figured I'd put the strides on so that's what I'll do I'll have some lunch and I'll think about how I'm going to set it up set up my shelter all right to be continued cut the branches off now it's time to set up the shelter one two three that's it all done how's that for an erection I'll try uh, the old spinner bait and this one's got a bit of weight to it so I can cast it pretty far there's a bit of a pull on the other side there so I'll try it out
Ready to rock and roll, let's have a crack. Just as I turn the camera off, how's that for a beauty? Yes, there's dinner tonight. Or cat could be breakfast. Isn't that a beauty? Got another one. Not as big as the last one. Easy for that. I'm going to throw this one back in. Here's another one. That's number three, but one got away. Oh, blow me down, I've never seen that before. Check that out. He's a pretty good swimmer. See you later, mate. Here we go. Fire. All right. The fire's well and truly pumping now. Time to relax and have a vino. Got some Grenache again. Whoa! It's a bit too much, but. I think I deserve it after walking down about 14 and a half k's. Alright, so I'm not sure if this is going to make it to the post-production final, final clip. 
Um, I, uh, I attended a funeral yesterday. Um, we buried we buried my cousin, my first cousin. Um, he was almost the same age as me. Uh, probably about a year and a half years younger than me. Um, I haven't seen him for quite some time. We kind of drifted apart when you know we started approaching our 20s and by about mid 20s to late 20s we completely disconnected um, it's a shame really because we used to do everything together and um, and then I got the tragic news during the week that he passed away um, we were still in shock I'm still in shock now I wasn't really sure whether I was gonna do this trip or not but uh, you know there isn't um, anywhere else where I'd rather be to sort of just be on my own and clear my head um, but I prepared a poem all right so I'd like to read this to you now I had lost you long ago but I never said goodbye I write this to you now with a tear in my eye I would once run a mile just to be by your side and take on, our, take on our foes without questioning why. We'd go down that dark road and come back at night, wake up in the morning with our future in sight. You then veered left and I went to the right. There's a hole in my heart now, it's dark and it's deep. Only kin knows the secrets we keep. I had lost you long ago, now I say goodbye. This is the picture I want to remember you by. Cheers. Already seasoned ribeye, my dinner. This All right, steak is ready. Still a bit rare inside, but that's cook well. That was pretty good. Wash it down with some water.
Well, I forgot to bring. Um, I forgot. I forgot to bring uh, butter, and I forgot to bring the tahini. So I'm just gonna eat it as is. This side is done, this side is almost done. Still a little bit crispy. Fish is too big for the pan. Oh, so very moist. No salt, no lemon, you haven't lived if you haven't had wild trout. On the fire. Well, you haven't lived. I ate like a king tonight. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I'm absolutely stuffed. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna turn in now, and um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, eh? good night. Good morning. Okay, it's about um, 6.30. Still quite dark. I woke up because a um, uh, strong gust of wind came through and um, I, had, uh, I had the ropes tied on like some river riverbed rocks and a couple of them went loose and I got up to tighten them up and um, and as I got out of my hammock to tighten these ropes up uh, the wind oh the fire's pumping now the wind um, blew my sleeping mat and my sleeping bag blew it out out of the hammock and um, so I had to chase the friggin mattress and the and the bag halfway up the bloody riverbank so I've um, managed to salvage the bag and the mat um, so I've just kind of wedged it in the, the log now and um, the tarp's flapping I haven't even bothered to fix the tarp yet so I don't even feel like going back to bed now. I'm wide awake. So I might um, sit next to the fire a bit, get warmed up. Uh, I might take the, the tarp, at least the tarp down and um, and then if it gets, uh, if the sun comes out, I might um, 
might do a bit of fishing and then have breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast wrap. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish off my breakfast. Slowly start packing up, and um, I might even have a, another fish just before I go. I did do some fishing this morning but um, didn't really have much luck, not even a single bite. So I'll have another crack before I leave. Just wanted to say thanks a lot for um, joining me on this trip. Um, turned out to be a pretty good trip. Uh, well worth the case that I travelled 14 and a half k's for that trout. Um, let me tell you it was well worth it. It was a decent size too and it tasted absolutely amazing. Um, thanks for joining me on this trip. 
uh, please remember to hit the like button if you like the, if you like this sort of stuff. And um, hopefully I'll catch on the next one. See you guys.